Hello doctors, today we are going to discuss regarding the congenital heart disease MCQs. So here in case of examination we can expect two different pattern. One will be direct question asking directly the signs and asking for the condition and the second question will be based upon the symptoms and clinical findings asking for the disease condition what it could be. So let's see. So in this condition, this is one of the most common congenital heart disease and this is one of the most common congenital heart disease complicated by infective endocarditis also. And here we can hear the pan systolic murmur or it can be called as maladide roger. I think you can guess the condition now easily and the condition is ventricular septal defect. So these questions are direct questions. Then so here in this uh, condition, the risk factor would be the maternal rubella in first trimester. And here we can hear the continuous machinery murmur or Gibson's murmur. I think now you can guess the condition easily. And here the presentation will be of differential cyanosis because of the reversal shunt. And the condition you know that is patent ductus arteriosus. Then this condition in case of children it will be asymptomatic and in case of adult they may be presenting with pulmonary hypertension and here in case of ECG we will be getting RSR pattern in right axis deviation and there are few syndromes associated with this condition. First one whole torum syndrome then thrombocytopenia open radius syndrome then down syndrome and Ellis Van Creval syndrome. I think now you can guess the condition very easily. Whole Torum syndrome and Down syndrome will lead to the identification that is atrial septal defect. Then now we are going to see regarding aortic stenosis. Here the most common type is valvular and we, ha we can have supravalvular type which we can see in case of Williams syndrome. And here, this condition is most commonly associated with another cardiac lesion that is bicuspid aortic valve. Then in this condition, we can see the hypertension in upper extremities and weak pulses in lower extremities. This can be an indirect question mentioning the clinical finding. And this is one of the second most common heart disease in Turner syndrome. And here we can see radiofemoral delay on clinical finding. And then here we can see palpable arterial pulsation in interscapular region which is also called a Sussman sign. Even this question may be asked directly. Then in case of chest x-ray there will be rib notching due to collateral circulation. And this is called as S3 sign or doc sign. I think you can guess the condition easily now. It is none other than coarctation of iota. So in case of coarctation of iota in adult, it is most commonly postductal. That is the coarctation is just below the origin of left subclavian artery. Just try to remember the most common pattern is postductal. So still now we have discussed regarding the acyanotic congenital heart diseases. And here we have two different subtypes. One is left to right shunt and another one is obstructive. So in case of left to right shunt, it is ventricular septal defect, atrial septal defect and patent ductus arteriosus. And in case of obstructive, we will be having aortic stenosis and coarctation of iota. So now let's move to the next part. So here this condition is more specific in infant of diabetic mother. And here we can hear single S2. And in case of X-ray, we can see egg gun string or side appearance. I think you can guess the condition very easily. And it is transposition of great vessel where we can find all these direct questions. So now, in this condition on examination, we can find central cyanosis. So it is uh, most commonly cyanotic heart disease. And here we can see clubbing and single S2, ejection systolic murmur will be here. And in case of chest x-ray, we can see choir and sabot. That is none other than boat-shaped heart, which is mainly because of right ventricular hypertrophy. 
and in this condition congestive heart failure is not common this is one of the important mcq and here in this condition we can see cyanotic spells and it can be seen around the children age group from 4 to 6 months and uh, if uh, the children is having more dyspnea they will be sitting in squatting position to overcome it i think you might have guessed the condition it is none other than tetralogy of fallot so now this condition is most dangerous cardiac lesion in pregnancy and here we can have loud p2 so let's see the condition that is Eisenmenger syndrome then in this condition we can hear ejection systolic click and in case of chest x-ray we can see dilated pulmonary artery and the condition is pulmonary valve stenosis still now we have discussed regarding all the cyanotic congenital heart disease so in case of cyanotic directly it is transposition of great vessel then tetralogy of phallet then Eisenmenger syndrome and if there is any obstruction then it is none other than pulmonary valve stenosis in this condition sinusis is not improved by 100 percentage oxygen then chest x-ray pulmonary edema with snowman heart that is we can see figure of 8 or cottage loaf appearance then the condition is total anomalous pulmonary venous connection and in this condition the most common type is supracardiac variety and this is one of the mixed congenital heart disease which will be having both the symptom of cyanotic and acyanotic thank you so much everyone and happy learning with us